when working with jQuery UI, one of the things that makes it so powerful is the fact that you can control the theme, that is the style, the way that the elements that you create with jQuery UI are going to look. In order to control it, you'll need to modify a CSS style sheet. And you can do this by hand, but it would take a lot of time and effort. So therefore, you may instead want to use Theme Roller. Now, Theme Roller is easy to get to. Under jQueryUI.com, from your top menu, choose Themes. And this will take you to the Theme Roller page. You'll have two separate sections you'll see. First is on the left-hand side, you'll see Theme Roller. Then, on the right-hand side, and what takes up the vast majority of the page, is a sample of what the current theme looks like. You can scroll down and see that the theme is composed of a lot of different areas, including everything from alert boxes, highlight boxes, different icons, and even what a tooltip would look like in jQuery UI with the current theme. Now, if you don't like the current theme, there's two things that you can choose. First, I'm going to show you Gallery. The Gallery is a tab under the Theme Roller section, and you can see that it has quite a few different themes available to you, and these are all pre-made and ready to go. And if I choose one, you'll notice very quickly that the color and icons will all change for the sample so you can see what that particular theme looks like. There are numerous different ones some have some interesting names like Redmond, which of course is going to look kind of like an early Microsoft type of UI. You also have Cupertino, which of course is going to be more of a Mac type style. You also have some others that you can choose from if you would like to. This way you have a wide variety of different styles and colors to pick from. Of course, if you don't like this particular style, you can make your own. So on the very first tab, you have Roll Your Own. Now one style that they do not currently have in jQuery UI is a flat theme, and flat is very popular right now. In order to change your theme to make this more flat, all you need to do is go to different sections, such as Header and Toolbar, click on it, and you can see here that there's an icon that's going to show you it's a gloss wave. And this is what kind of gives you a faux 3D effect. Click on that. You see a lot of different types of styles you can change to and use. And the very first one is the flat. So you change the flat. You keep going. There's a couple different ones you need to check. Once you've gone through and changed all your different sections, you now are left with the same colors that were created from the original theme, but you now have more of a flat type of look. And this could be the design style that you're particularly interested in. Of course, if you want something different, you can always change your colors, choose a different initial theme, etc. Now that you have this theme created, what you probably want to look at doing is being able to download and export it. In order to do so, you simply go to your download theme, which is located on your theme roller. And this will take you to your download page once again. Choose your version of jQuery, which components you want to include. And if you scroll all the way down the page, you notice it has a custom theme. You can choose the folder name and a scope if you're interested in that. Then you choose download and it will then build and allow you to download your custom jQuery UI theme for you to use in your website. Simply either open this or save it to your location. We'll choose open. Here's the internal folder. And you can see it's got your basic sections that you need, including your CSS, which will also have your images, and your JavaScript that you'll need in order to run it. I'll also include a sample index.html file so that you'll be able to see this particular theme working on a web page. If you found this video tutorial helpful, please like and share it with others. If you want to keep up 
with other videos that are coming out, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel and like us on Facebook. That way you can get the most up-to-date information.